Okay, over here to the right, uh, we've graphed the function f of x equals 1 fourth of the quantity x plus 6 squared minus 5. This function is a parabola with its equation written in vertex form. Uh, some textbooks call that standard form. But the point is, it's easy to identify the vertex when it's written in this form because the formula is y equals a times the quantity x minus h x minus h the quantity squared plus k when it's written in that form the vertex is at h k notice you have to have a minus sign right there so you have to think of this as x minus a negative six and that means the X coordinate of the vertex is at negative six. That's like the H. And here is the vertex, negative six. And here's K, negative five. So the, there's the vertex. Uh, by the way, I've graphed the parent function Y equals X squared over here with its vertex at the origin. And I've plotted the vertex right here. And to find out the point that corresponds to an x coordinate of negative 2, you have to plug negative 2 into the function, which turns out to be this y value right here, negative 1. And when x is negative 4, if you put negative 4 in for x, you're going to get 2 squared is 4, a fourth of 4 is 1, 1 minus 5 is there, it is negative 4. Now, what do they mean by the reflection in the axis of symmetry? This line, x equals negative 6, that is the axis of symmetry. It's the vertical line that passes through the vertex. And the reflection across that line, these points right here, are the uh, endpoints of the segment where that are on the line y equals negative 1. And for the endpoints of that segment, that point right there, which is on the axis of symmetry, is the midpoint of that segment. In other words, this segment has the same length as that segment. So you could do it by counting squares if you wanted to. I mean, the coordinates of this point are negative 6, comma, negative 1. How far is it from negative 6 to negative 2? It's a length of four. So the other point, the reflection across the axis of symmetry is four units to the left of negative six, which is negative 10. And of course the Y coordinate is still negative one. And you could use the midpoint formula to actually uh, find the coordinates of that point, or you can just count, count squares. Uh, and similarly down here, the distance from negative 6, negative 4 to this x coordinate, negative 4, that's two units. So two units to the left of negative 6 would be negative 8. So negative 8, negative 4 would be the other endpoint of this segment that has the axis of symmetry as actually a perpendicular bisector. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.